Dr. Lee Woods at the Long Island Gynecomastia Center, Long Island, New York. So this young man um, had surgery before me about a year ago, actually a year and a half, half ago, where the guy from South Jersey, he's 26, he's from South Jersey, went to a plastic surgeon in South Jersey, not by me, and all he did was lipo, and it's kind of a stupid thing, this plastic surgeon. He did lipo through a hole here, through a hole here, through a hole here, through a hole here, and come over here, through a hole here, and no gland. With me, I do my stealth incisions in the armpit, in the hair, and I go down, and through the nipple I go down. The guy didn't even take out the gland, so, and look at him, he's, he's 160 pounds, you know, soaking wet. So he, he weighs nothing, he doesn't need fat, I mean, he doesn't need lipo, he's got no fat. I mean, I can tell by the serratus anterior muscle and his belly, he's got nothing, nothing to lipo. I think that's because the plastic surgeon was just inexperienced and didn't know what the hell he was doing. So he came to me about six months ago, about a year af after the surgery, uh, and I removed the glands. And if you look here, um, you, you don't even see the, the, the incision right here. He's a little puffy because I just numbed him up, and I'll tell you why I numbed him. I, I, we're, we're here to begin with. Um, is that also when I remove the glands, and again, lift up this arm, really, you see nothing. No incision whatsoever. I, I also did a little nipple uh, reduction surgery uh, because his nipple was big. So he called me up. I don't know, literally a week ago, two weeks ago, and said, Doc, can I, can I drive back up from South Jersey? I, I want like no nipples. He, he actually texted me, he says, I want a nippleectomy. I, so uh, he's nothing to protrude through his shirt. So we're actually gonna remove his nipples, but he's gonna have a little bit of a scar there um, from cutting this out, uh, but it'll be inside the coloration of the areola. So it's gonna mimic like a little nipple and it'll still harden up when he flicks it or it gets cold. So he'll have something, but really through a shirt, nobody will see anything. Right here, getting that surface meat off. Boomy, boomy. And, and I guarantee my work. So, you know, he said, oh, it's gonna cost me anything. I go, nah, just show up. Get here, we'll do it. Be my pleasure. That he will with my work. Okay. It's a little quartery. And we'll just stitch him up here. Put one in the middle. Well, this is a, 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 a Vico Rapide. It's a, it's a fast self-absorbing. Normal self-absorbing last a month or two or three. This one lasts about 10 days. So here are the two nipples that I got the out that, that was that was bothering him. This is a little antibiotic gauze, but as you can see, that looks great. These are self-absorbing stitches. He's from Southern Jersey, about two and a half hour drive. So I don't want him to have to, you know, uh, schlep back here tomorrow and you know in the next day. So we'll we'll do FaceTime on him. But this is the way it is, and this is a little Xeroform. It's an antibiotic gauze and uh, put that on. So this is me, Leibowitz, standing by my work, uh, no matter what it takes. So again, 631-424-0101 or email me at johnsleibowitzmd at gmail.com. Thanks, and uh, 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 if you want your nipples removed, uh, <laughs> uh, just, just, just call me. All right? There they are. There they are.